Hello. Welcome to my home in sunny Venice, California. Beautiful blue skies. I've got flowers blooming, herbs, if you are interested in cooking anything delicious. And uh, this is my pride and joy. I made all of the little grills myself, which I'm very, very proud of. You could tell that I made them because if you were to look at the ends, they're all kind of like a little wonky. Nothing really lines up. So, you know, perfection is in the imperfection. That's what you tell yourself. I'm just going to lock the door, keep us all safe. We're in Venice. So now that we're at my house, um, we're, we're making meatballs, obviously. I mean, what else do you do? You come to Daniel's house, you make meatballs, and then you eat the meatballs, and then you get the f out of here. You know that it's a no-stress cooking experience when you got your house slippers on the whole time. My name is Daniel Holzman. I'm the chef, founder, owner of the Meatball Shop restaurants in New York City. We are here because you are presumably considering ordering Gold Belly Meatball Shop classic meatballs. And so my goal is to show you what makes these meatballs special and why you're not making them yourself or going to the supermarket and buying something of, I don't want to say lesser quality, but, you know, not something as great as the best meatballs in the world, which hopefully by now you've been convinced to order you order. My culinary background was, I started young as a delivery boy. I found my way into the kitchen. I got really lucky. I got to work at a four-star restaurant when I was like 15 years old. And around 30 years old, I felt like I wanted to translate that quality and love and passion for food into something that was more approachable. There's no reason that you can't take the same care and attention and sense of pride in making a meatball that you would in a fancy meal that costs hundreds of dollars. And that was kind of the philosophy that drove why we chose to open a meatball shop. You say meatballs and people just smile. Every culture in the world celebrates and loves meatballs. At the meatball shop, we've got beef meatballs, and chicken meatballs, and pork meatballs, and veggie meatballs. And for us, the classic meatballs are a mix of beef and pork. And when you buy meatballs through Gold Belly, they're gonna come like this, packaged in a box, you're gonna get a bucket of balls, Bucket of balls, you know, rolls off the tongue. Not to constantly make ball jokes. It's like so difficult for me to go through this entire thing and be like, just hold your tongue. It's okay. My favorite ball joke? Yeah. The two cannibals are, are eating a guy and they're like, how, how should we split them up? And the guy's like, oh, you start the head, I start at the bottom, you know, so we'll meet in the middle. And so the guy starts at the head, after a couple minutes he looks at it, he goes, how's it going down there? And the guy goes, it's great, I'm having a ball. He goes, hey, slow down, you're eating too fast. That's a funny joke, no? Nobody? Normally, I'm paying the people that are around me in the kitchen, so they all laugh at my jokes, and this is an awkward feeling. A meatball is made of meat, bread, eggs, and seasoning. We have visited every farm of the meat production facility where we buy our meat. But the reality is that when you, when you grind your own meat, you get to choose what cut you want. And you can use breadcrumbs and make great meatballs, but there was also a textural thing here. So I like the idea of using whole bread. Like when I buy that jar of, of breadcrumbs from the supermarket, like you mix, you, you shake it up, it's like, where did that bread come from? I don't really know. And the idea of the meatball shop is being sustainable. And one of the ways that we made a low price is that we serve meatball heroes. And if you have leftover bread, the next day you grind it up into your meatballs. In our classic meatballs, we mix beef and pork. And I find that that's my favorite combination. I got a lot of meat here, by the way. I don't have to grind all this, but I'm gonna. You're definitely not supposed to stick your fingers in the mixer. I mean, don't do that. When you order meatballs from the meatball shop on Gold Belly, you get to choose your sauce. There's creamy tomato basil, our pesto sauce, classic tomato sauce, and then we have a spicy ish arrabbiato. So my personal favorites, I would never tell. I don't kiss and tell. And they're like my children, you don't choose favorites. We use fresh ricotta cheese, fresh herbs, freshly grated cheese, pecorino romano. Great, great, great. It's a great grating cheese. Get it? It's great. No? Jesus Christ. Really falling, falling short today. Nobody? Okay, done. We got our classic meatballs. Tender and toothsome. They break apart in your mouth and just burst with flavor. These are like the best meatballs in the world. They're perfect. I, I, would, I would love to be like, they need more salt, they need more of this. These are very delicious. There's, the texture's perfect. 
The seasoning is perfect, and they're really are delicious. It's hard because it's my place. It's like, oh, you gotta come to my cool place, you know? I don't wanna say that, but like, I'll bring my cool place to you. Either way, the meatballs are on me. But they're not on me in the sense that I'm gonna pay for them, but they're like, I'm gonna send them to you. But not me, but the restaurant, yeah. They're delicious and I'm proud. I'm proud to eat them. I would be proud to serve them in my home. I'm proud to serve them in the restaurant and I would be extremely proud to serve them in your home.